Hi, I'm Lucy Bronze, an international football player for both England and Manchester City. Lalette's have invited me to talk about becoming a teenager and how I found growing up, including periods, body changes and relationships. Hopefully, I can help by sharing how I felt becoming a teen, making it a little less confusing for you. Find out more at becomingateen.co.uk I think I kind of went up and down. I had uh, quite a confident upbringing because my parents were very loving and I don't know, they'd, they'd, they'd not pushed me, but they're so proud of me and what I did. And then I kind of went into school and not get bullied, but you have like little gossipy girls or what have you. So I kind of went up and down and eventually I kind of got to the point when I was about 13, 14, when I thought, Do you know, I really, I don't care anymore. And it, it is hard at the time. Of course it is when you're in it at the, at the time it feels like the worst thing in the world like I, I honestly know that firsthand but I think now that I'm older I just think it's made me so much I'm like such a better person because of it I think you have to sometimes go through hard times to then see how good the good times are I don't think being a girl really held me back because I, I, like, I really loved growing up playing football and playing football meant I was playing with the boys and being with the boys meant that the girls wanted to be my friend so that they could be friends with the boys so I kind of got in between like my friends would be like oh you know him you know him and I'd be like yeah I play football like down the park with him so it kind of helped me in a way playing football and being close to the boys and that's respect and being a girl it, it didn't really bother me at all. I definitely didn't go to my dad he's quite awkward with those kind of things and I think dads just are. I think my mum was probably the main person and I didn't really go to her, she kind of came to me and it was just like letting me know every single thing that she could before it kind of happened so I think I was really well prepared when I was growing up because my mum told me from such, such a young age and all these little things that might happen and what's going to happen so when it came it wasn't a surprise it was just like oh it's okay I know that this is going to happen and this is, this is normal, everyone's going to go through this. Yeah, I think it's going to be awkward. You know, I, I did find it awkward at first and, you know, sometimes I still do even now that I'm 23. But that's just parents, you know, your parents are there to embarrass you and they're only trying to help at the end of the day. They, they do care about you. You just, you just got to sit and listen. And as long as they know that you're taking it in, I think that's, that's all they want to know. I think I'm known for not really getting nervous because I think like like I said, you know, if you're prepared for something, you've not really got anything to be nervous about. So with football, I know that I've prepared my whole life to play each game. I've played, prepared that whole week, whatever it is. So I'm ready for whatever's going to happen. And if I'm not, then that's my own fault. But I, I can't be nervous for that because I know that I'm not prepared or I am prepared. So that's the way I kind of see anything in life, really, not just football. Well, I always find that, so people always ask you a question, I kind of just repeat that. Every question they ask me, I kind of repeat it in a different way back just to get conversation. That's what I always think if they say, how are you? You just say, how are you back? And it, it sounds silly, but it just, at least it gives me something in my head that I have to say, rather than I'm thinking, oh, what can I say? Like, I, haven't got, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't like, you kind of get stuck in a thing where you think, should I ask them what their favorite book is? Or, and, it, and it's just ridiculous. I kind of just kind of, mirror the conversation that they're giving me to give them back because obviously that's what they're comfortable talking about I guess and sometimes it works I mean most of the time it works and sometimes it might not and you just got to think of something off the top of your head but I think it's a pretty pretty easy rule to kind of go by.